Hello and welcome to St. John Lutheran Church in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. I'm Adam Diefenbach with Emory Brothers, and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the organ and a quick demonstration of some of the stops in the organ. Now this organ was rebuilt by Moeller in 1978, but was originally their Opus 6772 from 1939, which places it during the time when Richard Whiteleg was the tonal director at Moeller. Some of the stops in the organ were retained from the original 1930s instrument, including this beautiful flute celeste in the swell. As well as the viol and celeste in the swell. oboe in the swell. Interestingly, in the pedal, Muller uh, kept the 16-foot open wood. Not something you typically find in organs from 1978. The principal chorus in the mixture is clearly uh, from the 1978 rebuild. And in the choir, we have a harmonic flute. Dulciana and Undermaris. Both of which date from the 1939 organ. So there's some of the sounds of the organ. Uh, now we're gonna head up into the chambers and we can see behind us on the opposite side of the chancel is half of the grate and behind it the swell. Now we're gonna leave the console. I'm walking out into the middle of the church, you can see. On this side of the chancel, the other half of the grate and behind it is the pedal and the choir. Looking out from the upper choir, we can see the console location down inside the church. In recent years, We've had the privilege of doing quite a bit of work on this organ, including rebuilding all of these original Moeller pneumatic shade engines, cleaning and voicing all the organ's pipes, and releathering all the reservoirs in the organ. Now, as we head over to the ladder, you can see just how far it is down from the upper choir into the lower choir and down to the floor level. Here in the lower choir, we can see the eight-foot harmonic trumpet, a commanding stop, the loudest in the organ, along with the choir mixture and mutations at this level. Looking up, you can see the bottom of the shade motors that we saw from above. Sending out here in front of the upper choir, you can see the pedal 16-foot bombard and the pedal mixture. And on the front of this walkboard is the great principal chest that has principles eight and four and the great mixture. Over on the opposite side of this chancel, we see the great chest that has the eight foot gems horn and then the flutes for the great division. Next, we'll head over there here inside the swell Again, we can see rebuilt Moeller individual pneumatic shade motors. One bank of swell shades has a motor dating from the original 1939 installation, and the other 
has a shade motor dating from the 1978 rebuild. It was interesting when these two actions were in the shop to know the differences in the way that they built and the way they work. Here again in the swell, all of the pipework in the organ was taken to our shop, cleaned, voiced, fitted with new tuning slides, and brought back and placed and tuned and tonal finished here in the church. The swell forward chest has the flute and flute celeste, four foot principal, nazard, tierce, and mixture. And the rear chest houses the 16 foot Gadeck unit, followed by the celeste and the eight foot string basses, eight foot trumpet, the string, and the 16 and 8 foot oboe bassoon unit. One of the other items clearly retained from the 1939 Moeller is what we call Vox in a Box. 8 foot Vox Humana inside its own enclosure in the swell. Thanks again for joining me for this tour of the molar organ here at St. John Lutheran Church in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. If you have any questions about this instrument or any other recent projects of Emory Brothers, let us know in the comments below.